Welcome everyone to the Smart Homie channel with me, Ben Davies. So this week, I was thinking, where is the best place to install voice control in your home? It's right here that I had the epiphany. It's gotta be your bathroom, think about it. So you're in the shower and you wanna change track on your playlist or you're in your bath and you wanna change the mood of the lighting. It's kind of the best place to do kind of hands-free control of all the devices in your bathroom. So this week, the next series of episodes, we're gonna do a in-ceiling speaker and then it's gonna go down to the new TDG Veil amp. Now this amp, you can install an Alexa Dot into and it basically gives you Alexa control of that amp as well as obviously being able to control the devices like our lighting, our Lutron lighting in our bathroom. Once that's all installed, we'll give it a little review and then we'll post it on here. So, I think it's time to finish up on here and roll the credits. So this episode, we are looking at installing the in-ceiling speaker. Now we've gone with a TDG stereo audio speaker. Two reasons, one is that it has a new technology called dual voice coil, which I've not heard before, so I'm interested to hear what that sounds like. And secondly, they make the Veil amp, and it's always good to pair your amps with your speakers, because generally they've been designed and made for each other. So let's get some tips on installing an in-ceiling speaker. Tip number one. So, you need to work out which way your joists go and how far they are apart. Now, this can be difficult if you haven't got spotlights in your room because you're doing a little bit of uh, mystery work, but if you've got a good electrician or a good installer, they should be able to find them for you. Now, if you have got spotlights in your room, you can drop these down and then it gives you the access into the void to work out where your joists are. So in here, what I generally do is, I like to put a tape measure in to work out exactly how far the gap inside is. So it's 100 mil from to the rear of the wall, and it's about um, 320 mil to this front section. So our joists run this way, and hence why I've put the template where it is. So next up, we wanna drill a small 20 mil hole at one side of the cutout, this will allow us to get a pad saw in, or in our case, we're gonna stick a jigsaw in and cut around it. Next tip is to install Firehood. Well, we should say it's a legal requirement here in the UK if you have a habitable room above, which we do. My office is above this. So we're gonna be putting a fire hood to stop any fire ingress from this floor to above if there ever was one. Now, I've done a whole how-to video on how to install these and I'll pop that up somewhere here. And so I'll give you a quick rundown. You basically incision in the side of the fire hood, the cable comes through it, you push the hood up into the ceiling, you create a bond between the hood itself and the upper part of the plasterboard with something like a grip fill, and then you let that set for 24 hours. So then we're now ready to install our ceiling speaker into this space. So this is the TDG Bronze NFC 61 STT. Yes, I did read that off the back. Um, this is gonna be installed, obviously, in our hole that we've cut for it. Um, what I quite like about these speakers that they've created the tweeter bridge, so this section has a handle to hold, so you can actually hold this section up and in place while you put the speakers terminals in and you screw it up in place. Um, other things to note, and it's always a big thing for me, uh, binding posts, proper push down binding posts, none of this rubbish kind of like plastic ones, you know, the build quality on this is good. Um, obviously an enclosed unit would have been better and with TDG the further you go up with the models the more you get that as, a, as, a, as an item that comes with the actual system itself. So to install this as a stereo 
we've got left and right, obviously, we've got the left on that side and the right on that side um, speaker posts. So on the right we have black and red. And as CEDIA guidelines say, which is our industry body, we have white for hot on the red on the left and green on the negative or the black on the left. And that is that installed. So we push the cable up into place. We make sure our fire hood is nicely tucked in. It's already been fitted in properly. So that should be a case of pushing that up. Leave the grill off for the time being because there's obviously some settings that we can change on the parameters on the speaker itself and we'll get this finished up, Alexa on and get some music played. That's our speaker installed. So final thing to do is fit the grill and it's a magnetic grill which makes it nice and easy. Um, only thing I would say is clean your hands or wear gloves when you install these because they can mark very easily. So. I will see you on the next episode when we get the veil lamp installed and we can have some jazz time. <laughs>